When the fox's belly's rumbling, he's rummaging through rubbish bins, finding just enough to keep his stomach quiet and content, springing his step as he's hopping yet another hedge, not concerned with boundaries or borders there to pen him in, not confined within the lines of someone else's sense of blessed, no concept of living life without the chance to stretch his legs. Yes, he's had his pizza crust, but he's found a couple chicken pens, and he understands for some that hunger never really takes a rest. He told me once, Dave, this tattered coat and tail may reflect the life I've led, but each unwoven thread this there will represent a lesson, friend. Left from pulling thorns out of my paws on paths I chose to tread, roses in the flower bed to raise a wagger of content. With many different obstacles when passing through environments, the vast amount of creatures I've encountered is enlightening. I've stumbled on a plethora of styles of life foraging. And when the serpent shows his fangs, I see the crooked smile in him. I said, wow, a wily fox indeed. Wild as he seemed, he's grounded and well-rounded due to where he's seen and been. Soon moonbeams trigger twilight routines of following the road out of the forest to the streets. With no plan or format to his nocturnal activity, his pads pitter-patter over uncharted territory, passing through thistles under nettles, then suddenly a break in the shrubbery presented opportunity. Not to make a meal of it, just have a little look-see. Before he knew it, he was through the fence carefree, halfway up the garden path, and who should he meet? A low-pitched growl with a shining set of teeth. Street lamps shimmered off a red nose, healthy from tip of the tail to the nails on his feet. A quick-thinking fox favours friend over enemy. He diffused the situation using a little flattery. Like, hey, I see you're angry. And you've got every right to be. But seriously, bro, that coat's immaculately neat. <laughs> Golden rope around your throat says success to me. If I wasn't orange, I'd be turning green with envy. <laughs> but these hollow compliments, they housed the core of jealousy. And he genuinely asked the dog here how it came to be. And this savvy pits chased many adversaries through growing through his prime, and he's far from a puppy. He sat back and growled out, hard work, scruffy. I've been guarding this garden since day one, studied on my owner's commands, and there ain't nothing lucky about how I got where I am. Understand, buddy? See you scratching around my ground for handouts annoying me. Get your head around the fact that nothing ever comes for free. I'm sleeping under shelter. Your bedding is the leaves. For me, it's milk and honey. For you, a tin of beans. By following my orders, I receive enough to eat. Doing what I'm told, I get everything I need. The kennel and the bones, it all belongs to me. I've devoted most of my life towards this golden leash. But the fox's eyes could see that lead was tethered to a tree. Made of precious metals, to the dog, it was a treat. So obsessed with ownership, he needed it to breathe. A choker chain of glowing gold prevented him to leave. I guess the questions raised are what is wealth and how is it perceived? What's a measure of success in this society? Is it your possessions or is it being free? Kind of like the hungry fox and the dog on a golden lead. Oh. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.